Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video I am going to show you how to set up a blog on a new Squarespace website. So for today's demo I am using the Harris template on a brand new kind of tester account. So if you set up one it should look something similar to this. And on the back end when you're here you can see that in the menu on the top right hand corner it shows all the different pages that exist in the demo template and blog is not one of them. So for our new site today, I'm going to show you how to set up a blog. So first off, you're going to go over to the pages section here. And within the main navigation menu, you're going to click the plus sign. And this is going to create a brand new page. And we're going to scroll down to the blog section because that's the type of page we want. You can see you can name your blog. So I'm just going to be simple and call it blog. So type that in and press enter. And now you've got your whole blog section set up. And looking up in the top navigation menu, you can see that the blog is now there. And this structure will be the same no matter what kind of template you're working off of. So now that we have a blog set up, it's time to add a blog post. I'm gonna give you a very quick rundown on this uh, to show you some of the main pointers and you can really dive into this a bit more on your own. So to start a new blog post, you're going to click the plus sign again to add the post. From here, you get to fill in the blog post title to start. So let's call it blog post title number one. Very original, I know. <laughs> and from here, it's time to start adding content to the blog post. So normally a blog post, it's going to be a combination of text and images, but you, know, you can add a whole lot more depending on the type of content block you want. So to start off by writing the content in here, you just start typing away. And this is your example of a text. And now let's say you want to add an image. It's time to add an image block. So click on one of these little pointer things and go over to the image section. So again, this is where you can see all the different type of content blocks that exist, but we're going to focus on images. I'm going to add an image. So I've got one saved on my desktop here. So I'll just click that over. And then you can name your image too. And you know, if you would like a caption or not, then you can you know, customize that there. So I'll just call it walking. And I'll apply. So there we go. So this is the basics of a blog post. You've got your text, you've got an image, and that's the first starting point. The next thing you're going to want to set up is the tags and categories, which are down here below. So this is how you're going to you know, really manage all of the content in your blog, because as you add more and more articles, you're going to want to relate them a little bit. So you can add different tags and categories here just by clicking the plus sign. So a few examples would be uh, tags, let's say girl walking outdoors. And then for category, Let's create a category and say this is fashion. Okay. And then you can also select if you want comments on or off. Um, and then also if it's a draft, which is the current state, and you have to actually publish it yourself by going down here. There's a few other sections I want to draw your eyes to first before you click save or save and publish. So up here on the options tab, this is where you can add a thumbnail image. So this is really important depending on how you want to display based on social media or other pages on your site. So always make sure to add an image here. So again, I'm going to put the same image in the thumbnail. You can also fill in your blog post URL. So I'm just going to call it um, post one, but you, know, you definitely want to name it something a little bit better. And if your text is going to be really long, you'll want to fill out this excerpt section because then when the user clicks the read more button, then they'll get to the full article. So example of some text and then they click read more. There's also options here if you want to go to location and social, but you can fill those out on your own. And now that I've got my basic blog post here, I've got my title. I've got my text, I've got an image, now it's time to save it. So let's go save. There we go. 
And over here, you can see that this blog post is currently saved as a draft, but if you want to save it and publish it, then it can go live then too. Or if you want to put it in review, then that's also another option. So there you go. Now we've covered the basics of how to set up a blog on a new Squarespace website, and also a really quick overview of how to blog once you have your blog set up. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below the video. And again, my name is Charlotte O'Hara, and you can visit my website at www.charlotteohara.ca. And be sure to browse the other videos on my YouTube channel. This is especially great if you like learning about Squarespace through things like video tutorials. Um, and if you like this video, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. Again, leave a comment or share it with your friends on social media. Thanks again for watching. Bye.